Hello RC Pilots, it's uh, Simcraft here and today I'm going to show you my Multiplex Merlin um, as you can see it's uh, got the Mega Motors brushless in runner uh, it's a powerful motor, it's, um, it's overpowered but uh, we've got a, a site that's got a lot of um, wind so if you ever get into trouble you can actually pull it back uh, just to put it on 100% throttle but you can run this round at 30% 50% and it'll still go uh, very well for a long long time uh, the motors are actually that I've got for the specifications are it's a Mega Motors uh, 16 by 15 by 3 and a 16 by 15 by 4 I've used both and they both you uh, fly very well um, I've got the other one actually in a mini XE now a, a flying wing um, and that runs at um, the, the 4 version runs at 2100 kV and the one is uh, 2800 kV or 2800 kV so it's a fast motor but uh, they're not cheap but they're they're very powerful and uh, they do actually fit in this uh, aircraft um well just as you can see this split by the split there i had to uh, sand it a bit and uh, uh, force it uh, in but uh, now i've glued that uh, red uh, strip or that circular strip all the way around it's held it all in place as you can see, I haven't cleaned it at the moment. I just wanted to show that I've, I've actually flown this quite a lot. And it's been landing on the bottom there. And it hasn't done much damage at all. It uh, hits the ground there and just slides off. Uh, that's uh, how to get the battery inside there. And that's all it's done as it uh, slides. Um, We'll show you a long shot of it so you've got the whole aircraft have to look at the aircraft from a distance there you are and now we're going to have a closer look at all the parts let's start with um, the rudder and elevator as you can see the parts were very well made it's very well made uh, um, uh, molded and cut um, but the rudder it actually just injures on the EPO foam you can see that that's um, that's the hinge there let's get it closer and for the elevator the whole um, that's the whole elevator moves up and down and it's connected there with these, these um, um, parts that you get in the kit all these plastic bits which all fit to, uh, together nicely. I should say, also, this this tube here serves as two purposes: feeding the the connectors to the the rudder and elevator on both sides. There, and you glue that in. That's that one side, and the other side too. But as you can see you've got that connector and that and th these two here actually serve to stiffen so if I try and waggle that that is very strong um, so it's all very precise engineered and that is actually because uh, my motor is so heavy and overpowered I've actually put it looks like a one ounce half an ounce oh, I don't know what it is but I've put uh, one of those um, lead weights taped there to compensate with the, for the the big engine inside there, the Mega Motor 1615. I think it's the three. I think I've put the 1615 four in my um, uh, my uh, EPP foam uh, wing. Uh, now, the other thing I can show you is underneath. See all the parts are actually uh, already uh, the slots are already already cut out, and I've just 
glued that um, spar through there and that serves to stiffen it up very nice and strong there look as well can hardly move it you can move it but that's uh, nice and stiff as well um, if you have landings they provide you with this that just slides across the grass look all the mud or whatever the ground it hasn't been scratched very much there it just mainly lands on there then uh, comes to halt these are all pre-cut out the wires so I've, as you can see, you might see some nails that have actually pushed it in. I don't think I've glued the, this uh, wire. And I'm using from uh, Giant Cod, well it's not Giant Cod now, it's Giant um, Shark. It's uh, the ES08 and uh, that's the Emax um, 9 gram server. So you only need um, four of those in all, two for the ailerons and one for the elevator and one for the rudder yeah so all good, good uh, connectors uh, the wing comes in the one pit I think you only have to cut that cut this along here and cut it along there and that that's quite um, strong uh, inch all the way across the multiplex uh, mini glider you could call it um, I've sort of like got it set up with the motor so I can um, uh, like uh, fly it really fast like a pylon race but since it's not it's a, it's a little I use it for um, uh, gliding uh, and if we go underneath I've got the 2.4 um, 2.4 um, radio and as you can see it's at 90 degrees so it picks up the best uh, signal I'm using the free sky I'll do a video on that the free sky um, uh, transmitter the DI Y quick kit kit so I had some a couple of good uh, JR transmitters and I've just uh, put the DI Y kit in in them and added the receiver in, in, in here this only just uses I've, first of all actually that means I've run out of time so I've only got time to say it's um, there's the battery a LiPo 450 you can use the 500 I've got a 500 as well um, and that's the inside hope that helps anyway and I'll just use those connectors and the receivers there and there you are speed controller I think that's only about oh is that 30 something like tower pro 30 amp there you are hope you can um, comment below I'll show it flying flying in the next video uh, oh yes and it's three cell uh, uh, battery and uh, that was about uh, eight minutes so you could actually fly this uh, quite easily for five to eight minutes easily or even longer if you were thermal in it and just um, using it as a glider but i tend to do it like gliding and also for um, uh, sports sports flying acrobatics there you are the merlin multiplex the lovely